Uh, oh, okay, great. The 22nd, fashionably late. <laughs> yeah, I am ready, actually. I've been sitting here this whole time. Turns out... He like, just wanted to make an entrance. <laughs> it's like, where is Nermal? Where is he? Why is he not ready? And all of a sudden, it's like, I'm right here. Uh, guys, I'm right I'm here. here. I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> GLHF. <laughs> Notice we didn't see any manor last game. No, we did not see any manor. This is surprising. Maybe, maybe we'll see more manor. Hopefully. All right, and we loaded right. a lot quicker than that. I think, I don't know. So in our bottom left, we have the Zerg player Netfish. And in the top right, we have the Protoss, Nermal, who is currently not mining with three probes. All right. There we go. There. He's watching the stream. <laughs> he is one behind in the series, and it'd be really cool if he could, you know, secure the, secure the win this match and put it to the third game. Bad macro. Uh... It's an interesting form of manner. <laughs> normal. <laughs> Doing the normal good luck, have fun. He's just telling his opponent, I'm really bad at late game. So he should <laughs> probably six pool me. <laughs> oh, wait. And wait, it, looks, it looks like Nefish is uh, starting out again with his customary early drone, even though he knows where his Protoss opponent is. He decided the pylon should not go at the front. It's actually going to go right. Where is it? Pylon. Where is it? Bylon. I blocked. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. Right in the way of the gas. <laughs> right in the way of the gas. You know, you don't want to mine gas too fast, Phil. You'll just, you'll burn your natural resources, you know. Is, uh, Some got to power over the cars with the best. Of. It's a powerful lesson in conservation from our friend. Always learning, Phil. We are always learning. We are. He's making a statement about the current oil industry. He is. If you spend your Vespin gas too fast, you're going to be able to afford nice things like cars. And it looks like he has his workers rallied on the Vespin gas. They can't collect it yet. They're, 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 they're jumping the gun a little bit. <laughs> you just want to dive right in there, but they can't. No, hold it a little too small. <laughs> and we see the Zerg is going to be a 14 expand. All right. It's a little unorthodox, but it's a little yeah, it's fine. No big deal. I'm liking his use of overlords this game much better than last game. Just thinking, I'm liking his use of map control. He's got controlling the Zelnaga tower. He doesn't need to control it. You know, uh, I would like to bring that drone back and start mining with it early on. I know, understand that. You need your drones. This is true. Going for a... But when he is going for an <laughs> unorthodox uh, fast expand play, it's, it's not nice unorthodox. to have some... This is... The only thing unorthodox was that he did on 14 instead of 15. This is, okay. this is quite standard. Nermal, though, not producing a zealot. He says, nah, those things are too cool for me. I'm going to keep making probes. He's putting down his cyber core, which will want to make stalkers. Hopefully those are cool enough for him. Hopefully. Otherwise, I don't know, man. I just have a probe on lean battle here. I'm really not a fan of his decision to not wall off or at least make a choke. Because, like, yeah. two things come in here. And he's done. They're done. Um, the Zerg now has two, both his bases up. He is. And his spawning pool. Close to saturated. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's just starting his queen, which is good because it just finished. Excellent. He's getting two queens. He's really. He's really doing well. Nermal spread back for the <coughs> fast nexus. The and now to build a zealot for the him. lack of a forge fast expand. <laughs> He's <laughs> <laughs> he is expanding with one zealot to defend. You know what? We're we're evolving the meta game here. <laughs> Just small steps at a time. Just expand. Don't build workers. I mean units, and uh, uh, you'll be fine. I mean that's the meta. It's the uh, Hail Mary meta. Okay, he's going for the two-gate cyber Twilight Council. I've never seen this build. <laughs> I'm really curious what he's doing. Maybe he's just going charge lots here and just wants to, like, destroy any Ling aggression. No, oh, we just got a stalker out. I like how he's saving up his Chrono Boost in case he needs to, you know, make carriers. Indeed. I am really enjoying this team. With these two probes, Phil. Sorry? He is long distance mining with these two probes. Excellent. They are being punished and having to do the long haul. 
But it looks like that Nexus is going to finish, so they'll, uh... He's keeping up with the bases of the Zerg. That is interesting. Has the Zerg made any... Uh, Zerg just popped out two lanes. Thanks. Alright, that is interesting. You'd expect him to you know, make them a little bit earlier just to scout. Well, you know what? It looks like we're getting a uh, metabolic boost up. Just really? about now. That's a yep. little bit. I won't complain. Better late than never. And I have a feeling these two lings, Phil, are not going to do well against these two stalkers and zealot. Well, depending oh, on whether or not they move down. That one's just... Oh, there he is. There oh. you are. Okay. These uh, lings look like they're going to run in there and actually do a little bit of damage. Is he going to pick up? Wow. Got uh, should move his pro. These lings are... These links are going to run train. I mean, he spread them so he didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Leaving them damaged. <laughs> Leaving them wounded to tell the stories to their families. <laughs> okay, warp gate is done. He should probably turn these gateways into warp gates. He is at 400 minerals. He should probably add another And gate. the two links are going to run into the base to continue their massacre. They are. And Gnomesville, he built this Twilight Council. Yeah. I wonder what his plan was with this Twilight Council. He's not producing anything. He has four workers queued up. He's not turning his gateways into warp gates. Perhaps it's a monument to his Protossi greatness. You think so? Perhaps. I'm undoubting that. Well, thinking he just forgot, he built it. In he's, the he's hoping maybe it was another gate. I accidentally hit the wrong key. And we're side. still waiting on we're still waiting on the warp gate transition. Yeah. I mean, even building units transition. I mean, we are at eight minutes, and we have a zealot and three stalkers. That is nice. What do we see? What's going on in the Zerg base? We have Zerg base is getting some spine Zerg crawlers is getting up. defended. He's like, I'm just gonna play macro this game. But I, I see we have a spire in the back that of Zerg main. Interesting. I'm really yeah. liking this. I'm liking this queen. He got a third queen for spreading creep solely for that purpose. That's great. Excellent. Oh, map control the creep. That's good. Looks like he's doing and quite he's well on And he's gonna attack overlays. gold rocks here, Phil, and get his gold third. Excellent. That will really propel him into this game. And we notice oh. still not using warp gate. He is building stalkers the traditional way, the hard earnest way. And back in the Protoss base, we've seen a Stargate thrown down and two robotics facilities. That is interesting. Still nothing done with this Twilight Council. And still, he's just, still, he's just getting the tech route, just in case he needs it. Exactly. And well, we, are getting, we are getting some pylons up to the natural. For now. That's good. Good thing to distract the Zerg and he's killing everything. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> um, and we do have some mutas out. Do we? How many? Four. Uh, looks like four. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, five stalkers beats. We got a few more uh, morphing in, actually. <coughs> well, an additional one. What's interesting is the Zerg has completely skipped the need for a roach warrant. He decides that mutas and lings are going to win him this game. Well, you know what? Zergling mutas is actually a pretty effective combo. Against Protoss? Uh, well... And see, he's totally fooled the Protoss. The Protoss is expecting roaches, I assume, with these two immortals going on. Ah, yes. And he's double upgrading. Huh. But he he still needs to, like, warp in, I feel. Yeah, he needs to be up on his warp. Finally turn him into warp gates, that's good. Excellent. He's getting air level one, that's good. He's upgrading, that's good. The uh, Zerg is also getting air level one. Is he really? He is indeed. Fire attacks level one. He needs to uh, make sure he's not missing injects like this. Uh, yep. And his main. And I like natural. I wonder why the Zerg killed the gold rocks and then decided to expand down here. I do like, let's point out, Phil, these yeah. old lord placements. Now, whenever the Protoss decides he wants to expand, he has to kill an overlord. Zerg's gonna know. <coughs> I'm getting some spectator chat here. Yep. That's true. <laughs> but he's not making Colossus. <laughs> this is true. But, uh... Besides, I like Zerg it. doesn't necessarily know that because he hasn't scouted in a while. It's true, Zerg. Uh, uh, he has these two overlords. Or the, uh, overseers. Overseers. Right here and here, Philip. Yes. And he could just run those in right now, see the one starport churning out boys. Oh, we've got a massive link bomb coming in. He's just gonna shut down that expo right away. Yeah, he's I feel like the Protoss should have broken down these rocks before trying to expand down there. Look, it looks like uh, Nermal's moving out to the Zalnaga Tower. He's going for a counterattack. I think he's going for a push. Let's see. Well, this That's a lot. Oh, of oh this is going to hurt. A lot of oh. this. Oh, oh, oh. He's running away. 
What is gonna happen? Are we gonna see a base trade? Are we gonna see- Got an observer, this? lanes are coming in from behind. Drooping, he's gonna- He's gonna catch the mortal. Shouldn't engage near these mine crawlers. Oh, he really should not. Uh, I should really pull his units back. He's gonna lose and, his- Yeah, he's gonna lose this army. Just yeah. managed to take out a few spine crawlers, though. Took out two spine crawlers and basically throw away their units. Yeah. I don't think he lost any of them. Nope, maybe, maybe he did. Maybe. Close. Maybe <laughs> one. What? Maybe he lost one. Why? I don't know. Yeah, he's got to pick up something. So we have the observer here, Phil, which has <laughs> a good view of the Zerg army, which is now moving out. Yes. We got the lings over here. Got a good view of this single solitary mutant that's been left behind to uh, stay with the family. We're getting a little heart from our spectators, that's great. Ah. Uh, Feels good. And so we got a oh, void rays. You know, mutas aren't. I'm not gonna say anything actually. You know what? I actually like the way he cleaned up that little tiny bush. Small scouting bush. He cleaned it up. Well, yeah. You wouldn't expect him to not, though. <laughs> And we are definitely getting some caster love. <laughs> I feel like because the Protoss build is adding uh, whoa. Oh, a, met a metric ton of gates. <laughs> um, he should be warp turning out. Good. Well, hey. Um, you know what? You this, know, I, this game is turning out a lot closer. This is going to be a lot interesting. He should pull back that Void Ray, though. He's going to lose. No, no. See, the Zerg, the Zerg's like, no. That was actually a good trade, and no, he's now a good trade. doing quite well. He is actually... Um, he's, he's behind on a base. He's behind on bases. He can expand without being seen. But he does have, have superior upgrades, I believe. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. Zerg have an evolution chamber? Zerg has one. Has what? not researched anything. All right, so he does have superior ground unit upgrades. He's okay. going to probably be on par with air upgrades. He's got oh. a lot of gates, and he's got a lot of minerals stored up. You know what I'm seeing down in the Zerg base? I'm seeing some investors coming out. You're gonna see some infestor play here. Interesting. He should get pathogen glands if he's gonna get infestors, though. That's kind of a necessary. Yeah. But other than that, I'm really looking forward to this infestor. I'm liking I'm liking this tech switch from the muta play to the infestor play. It probably will work out well. You yeah, know, I believe it will. Fungal grow all those voiders. Uh, neural parasite the immortals. Yeah, you could fungal growth the group units. You could neural parasite the units like the void ray. Mm-hmm. Um, you could just toss infest a Terran or whatever. Exactly. There's a lot of options with investors. I feel like he should have done something this Twilight Council. It's yeah. Still, it's haunting me. It's it's a monument. It's, it's a monument to his pro. Self. You're right. It is a monument. But monument. All these gates. Look at his money right now. He could warp in just zealots after zealots after zealots. Build pylons. More zealots. More He's zealots. Got so much money. He could just have a look at all these links. He's gonna need a lot of zealots. This Protoss is the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep me around. Oh gosh. Why did I ask you to do this with me? <laughs> I don't know. You make corny stuff like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Alright, so Zerg has a lot. Oh my. He's this like, he's pylons. Oh, a lot of investors coming in. Really warp in. I am counting 10 yeah. investors here. Warp in stalkers, no. Warp in something. I mean, he's, yes, he should warp in something. He should, he should get some extra units. Oh, still big engagement, but it looks like the mutants oh, are. Oh, 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 massive fungal. Oh, gosh. And a lot of groups here. Don't stop. Don't stop. stop. Fungal. It looks like we're actually going to have another fair trade here. It's blowing my head. Watching the uh, closest game in history to Monday Monday. <laughs> no, this isn't. This is good. This is very good. I'm liking this game. This is definitely turned out. I'm saying, what? Wow. He's gonna hunt down those investors, those expensive units. Ah, he's moving the investors. Ah! That feels bad. An investor master on the map here. Zerg, I know how oh, it feels. Those were, yeah, those are well played force fields. What he needs to do is he needs to sack his fourth gold base. No, what yeah. he needs to sack a base. Been more zealots. And uh, B. Ah, don't A click oh. your army, A click your army! I feel like he's gonna hold this. Those links have no upgrades right now, or do they? No, they have. He's got missile in that. He doesn't have. He still has not. Uh, yeah, he has missile in that. Alright, so the Protoss? I'm liking him. He's, he's gonna strong right now, man. Besides, 
add he needs to expand, he needs to add his four up gas. But other than that, he's looking pretty good right now. Looks like he's looking to ex uh, expand. I can't ping, actually. <laughs> Doesn't let me ping. Just throwing some infested Terran just to slow down this Protoss Armada that is knocking its way. Oh. Look at all those spine crawlers. Oh, wow. If you were making a great wall of spine crawlers. Oh, spore crawlers, too. Spore crawlers. You know, that, spore is crawler that is smart. That is smart. But if he catches these before they go, that's going to be Oh, fun. this is going to be, this is going to be, oh. Bad news. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, they're all popping, they're all popping. No, oh, it's just like. And he's just going to, he doesn't even care. He's going to run straight up into the main. Is he going to force the all this? No, Bad immortal. I got any lines there, buddy. Well, he's actually going to do quite a bit of damage in here. He's deserves it. Oh, I like this idea of putting the layer of damage, by the way. A yeah, lot of times I'm not going to be able to harass him in the main, and sometimes he can just defend the natural. Yeah. I'm really a fan of that. I don't do it, and I'm dumb, but I do it. Well, it looks like uh, oh, he is really doing a number on the Zen. The thermal is really taking it. I have a panting lead in this game. Yeah, he really is. Yes, he is. He's cleaned up the... Uh, We're back, even in base count, just about. I'm still thinking he needs to make more zealots. He that is not my personal... Did he kill the spawning pool? He did, he in fact, kill the spawning board. pool. He's lifting that his own stalker. He's killed the spire. He's gonna kill the... Crested then. Right now, Zerg can make nothing but drones. He is doing... Wow! He even made this work though. Oh, that was a on those zealots, by the way. Oh. Ah. He still needs to add a full gas, he still needs to expand. He still needs to... These three stalkers back in his base aren't helping him back. There's no more threats of Nita's. Yeah, you know, he needs to move his army out and actually get some And work. you know what? Zerg is trying to expand where Protoss is trying to expand. That's a little awkward. It's, uh, you know. Uh, sir, I was here first. <laughs> hey, sir, <laughs> sir, you bring in the Observer in for some illegal clout. <laughs> the Observer's like, actually, oh, what do we see down at the main? He's killed the team. He's killed the other team. And he's gonna run right around the spine crawler. No, to attack Justin. Why not? You know what? He's actually forced him to stop mining. Wow. That's his almost dead base. This and it looks like he may get the layer. How? Oh, that is gonna be... Bad. That is like... Oh, uh, like him moving back, but not back. That um, yeah, he should know it. No, no, no. There we go. Uh oh, he's gonna. I have a feeling this army's. Time. This army is is the time is limited. Units lost tab. Let's see that. Oh, bad. Very bad. The position by the Protons. So the lanes don't get us around here. No, he's not attacking. Ah, 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 they're gone. We are, well, the Zerg is still off on bases, even after losing two, three in the attack. Uh, and he looks like he's expanding to the gold again. Re-expanding. Seeing the Protons do a probe transfer to nothing. <laughs> the, oh, he's going to long distance mine the gold. That is interesting. Interest very interesting. But you know what? The gold does have increased uh because he is not back to such a low tier, he just needs to make straight zealots right now. Yeah. There's no reason to go the fancy Phoenix, there's no anti-air threat. The immortals, I mean they'll help with the spore crawlers in the buildings, but they're not really gonna do good against the Zerglings. No. And that's all he can do right now is just zealots. make Zerglings and those three infestors he has. You know what? It's getting Carapace one. Okay. These drones are not attacking. I mean, mining either. These looks drones. like we've got an, a little bit of a Protoss force heading out for this uh, -oh. uh, uh -oh. This expansion. Uh oh. And it doesn't have much to defend it. No, he doesn't. But, but if the Protoss doesn't hate for it, Should we call it a page? Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it anymore. Eight third base. He's gonna lose a base. He's not bringing things going now. No, but let's fight the things and stuff all away. <laughs> Why not? You need the experience. And let's, let's kill those larvae. You don't want them to make anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at these oh. things. Oh. 
Ghost oh, probe. We gotta, do you see the Zealot attack and the gold? On the Trail of Tears right now, Phil. They are on the Trail of Tears. Oh, the fungal. Oh, fungal growth. Oh, oh, those Zealots. Oh, but those Zealots, even though they've been fungal, they're still sniffing the investors with the Phoenix. Oh, so many all those vine crawlers. Definitely try. But, hey, we're moving in for an attack on the uh, Frodo. Should not attack right now. He does not have sufficient forces. Well, he's gonna lose something to these spore crawlers because yeah, he is down that spore crawler. There we go. That was good. All right. What is the same range of the vine crawl? Uh, he just does. I'm still saying that the money he has, the body has. Yeah. It's all. It's all. It's all. It's all. Look at all these games. He's got a massive play bomb coming in on the main. This game, Phil. This game? How is this gonna be up? This is more from something that neither of us could have predicted. I honestly, when the Kodos built the one gate, did wall, and then expanded without building a zealot, I was pretty sure he was gonna lose that game for the first time. Exactly, for the first time. And now we see a 28 minute game. We have nearly been going for half an hour on this single game, and we're morphing in zealots at the, uh, what the end of the plan. No. Losing this base does not even hurt the car that bad because he mined out anyways. He only needs it for gas. But it does yeah, he needs it for gas. He is currently has no income. Currently no income. And he hasn't had much income for the past uh warp gates he just used for the zealots. I'm a fan of the mass zealot, thank you. Finally. <laughs> now the Zerg's still on three base. Going to, I believe to secure a fourth. <laughs> oops. That is an oops. We all hate yeah. it. it happens. Feels real bad. And he's gonna leave some zealots behind just in case. You never know when you want auxiliary zealots. Auxiliary zealots just to protect the back in the rear. But these zealots, I, what are his upgrades now? Though? His upgrades are the Zerg 2 2. No, no, not the Zerg, the Protoss 1 1 2. Protoss zealots are 0 2. Zero, two. Zero, two. Forgive my mistake. Now, sacking his bases. No, the Protoss is really up on supply. Ah, he's really just... He has a commanding lead in this game as of now. He just needs to, uh, he needs to commit a little bit. He needs to commit this army and just wipe out these spine crawlers. He needs to bring the rest of the zealots Go the spine crawlers, go down to this base down here, bust in the rocks, kill at the natural. We got a covert ling bomb going up, gonna pat, fly right past the zealots. Oh, that feels bad. But we got two boy days of the main saying nah. And the Protoss has found a way to spend all his money without expanding. <laughs> That's the he will have for the rest yeah. of the game. Hopefully he can do something with it. Hopefully. It actually looks like he's gonna take out this base. That'll feel real good right now. That'll feel real good for him. He's gonna limit this Zerg to... Oh, well, I'm not... Okay, I, he could expand if he's super long distance mines. This is true, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. He's got a Zerg bomb in the, uh, coming in. And, well, Zerg now make no more links, again. Zerg has some expo now in the top right, putting down some spine crawlers, because what else can you do when you can't build units? Protoss is going to kill off these rocks they see and uh, hang out. Yeah. I feel like the Protoss, besides not being able to build anything else, can still win this game. I think he could. Oh, he's got this is a scary Protoss army. Right now, those immortals, if they were to just sit there and take the punishment from those spines, they would probably kill them all. Yeah. But he's going to go for the, uh, the hatch. That's a, that's a smart play. I don't think it is actually a smart Mortals play. Mortals are still really so dope. Hey, click, buddy. Hey, click. Hey, click. Hey, click. Looks like he's going to clean up these uh, mine crawlers. Or, or not. Or not. No. All right. Protoss. Protoss is yeah. in a very good position right now. The Zerg is not going to be able to create much, uh... These Void Rays, he still has... He has a Swiss bank account of Void Rays, Phil. Does he re Wow, he really does. Five of them. Against... With the, a sixth, sixth one coming out? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm including that one, I believe. Oh, okay. He's one with his army, too. Mm-hmm. Or hanging out in the middle. And here comes the Death Push, I believe. Oh, but another base going up for Zerg on the far right. But his Zerg observer but is going to see that. Sorry, that won't be a problem. No, not too worried about it. This, <laughs> this is a scary army coming in. He's throwing down all the spine crawlers he can. Is he gonna pull his workers? Is he gonna pull anything? Hi. 
think this could be the uh, to the end. GG for Fort Nefish here. One so handed yep. GG from Nefish, and that game is over. We're going to game three. I never would have called that. Neither would I. Nice. Start of the game. Nice. Strong. And oh, it's Thermal just came back to win it.